Today, I wanna to show you guys a brand new product from Magic Shine, the Ray 2600B. This might be one of my favorite new little lights. This thing is super compact, lightweight, and puts out a ton of light. Let's go ahead and dive into all the details and what's new about this brand new light. So here it is, this is the Ray 2600B and it's absolutely tiny. Coming in at four inches long, one inch thick, and an inch and a half wide, this thing can fit on any bike and almost go unnoticed. But don't worry, you're definitely gonna be noticed because with the dual LED setup here, this thing can peak out at 2600 lumens. Now with this light, you can have up to three different modes and each one of those modes has its own setting. So for example, if you wanted to use just what they call the floodlight mode, it's gonna be using this diffused LED right here, which is gonna give you a real wide pattern, but not project out near as far. And in the floodlight mode in the low setting, you can get up to 300 lumens, which will last for over 14 hours with the built-in battery. The medium setting will do 600 lumens and that will get you around seven hours of runtime. And the high setting with the floodlight will get you around 1250 lumens for a little over three and a half hours. But if you're like me, you're probably riding out on the trails on your mountain bike and you're gonna want as much light as possible. You're gonna wanna use their hybrid mode and that's where it's gonna use the diffused LED and the non-diffused LED. This is gonna give you the ability to be able to see really far where you're going and also really wide. And using both of these LEDs in the hybrid mode, you can have up to three different settings that are pre-programmed. In the low setting, you'll get about 500 lumens, and that's gonna be around eight hours of runtime. Now in the medium setting with the hybrid mode, it's gonna be around 1,250 lumens with about four hours of total runtime. And then if you wanna run this thing at full blast, it's gonna be 2,600 lumens, and you're gonna get about an hour and a half of runtime. I think this light is set up perfect for what I call the dawn ride. So if you're like me and you like to ride early in the morning, right as soon as dawn starts to break, you're gonna need a little bit of light, typically about 30 minutes to an hour of light. So you could run this at full power and not have to worry about running out of battery power. But hold up, you're not just limited to these preset settings that Magic Shine has programmed into this. That's one of the big benefits of the 2600B is that it actually connects up to their brand new app. And inside that app, you can set up scenes and scenarios that you can customize how many different settings you want this light to go on to. So if you wanted to dial this into the exact percentage of light usage that you wanted, you could do that. For example, in my scene scenario, my first one, I've got it set up to do only 10% of the light using the hybrid mode. So I'm gonna get super long battery life out of it. But also I've got three other settings programmed for this light that will just go up based off of the custom setting that I put into the app. Now that Magic Shine has an app with their lights, you can really dial these in to exactly the way that you want these lights to work for you. You're no longer limited to these preset settings. And I think that is a huge win for Magic Shine. Now, if you are a road rider or a gravel rider and you ride in the rain every once in a while, you don't have to worry about it because this is IPX6 certified. You could take this thing out in the rain and it'll be just fine all day long. Now, a couple things that I really do like about this is the simplicity. You've got an up and a down button on the top and essentially that's just going to increase and decrease the light based off the light setting you're on. So if you wanna switch between floodlight mode and hybrid mode, all you have to do is double tap one of the buttons and then you can just change the light settings by pressing the up or down button. They have made this really simple to use and I really do appreciate that. Now on the back, you do have a USB-C port, which is nice to see because they used to use micro USB, but now Magic Shine has changed all their new lights to run off USB-C. So it makes it really easy to find a cable in your house to be able to charge this light. One really cool thing about this USB-C is it's charging and discharging. So you could carry this in your bag and actually charge your phone from this if you had the appropriate cable. So not only is this great for a light at night, but it's also great as a small battery bank just to carry around with you. Now looking on the bottom, you do have a simple Garmin style mount, which is really nice because if you already have a Garmin mount on your bike, you can just click this thing on there. But it also comes with a few different mounts, one specifically to mount to your handlebars if you don't have a mount at all. 
Now, if you do have a bike computer and you wanna be able to mount this light underneath, kinda of like what I've done here on my bike, I would highly recommend picking up their TTA mount. That will allow you to use multiple different styles of computers and then mount the light down below. This is my ideal setup. And with this TTA mount that you can purchase separately, it actually gives you a little bit more room on your handlebars. Now I've taken this out on a couple of local trails over the last couple of weeks. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite lights that Magic Shine makes, simply because it is super compact, but yet high powered. Now, if you are gonna be a night rider and you're gonna be riding those trails at night, you may wanna run this on a lower setting, like the medium setting in the hybrid mode. That way you get several hours of use. But if you're like me and you ride early in the morning, right before the sun gets up, crank this thing up to that 2600 and really utilize that full power of the 2600B. Now, one other thing, if you wanted to wear this on your helmet, you could, you'd have to buy that mount separately, but they do supply you with a wireless remote control that you can attach to your handlebar. Now, if you guys wanna pick up one of these 2600B lights, go ahead and use my links below and make sure you use the coupon code RUNBIKEMIKE15 and you'll save 15% off on your purchase. And go check out their website because they have more awesome lights like this and we'll see you guys in the next one.